Kenzie Kellogg joins us. It's halftime, and uh, again, we're taping this on a Thursday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. How old are you? 22. And uh, coming off the knee injury last year, is it is it, is it tough to come back after missing it's, a whole year? It's uh, It was quite a challenge to, you know, sit back and let my team, you know, do a whole year without me and stuff, but... I worked my butt off during off season and did rehab every day, and I am so excited to be back with my team. So. You're a nursing student. Does yes. that help you knowing some anatomical things about the knee? Well, I got a little behind in nursing school because of my injury, oh. but I definitely <laughs> used it as a way to see like, like how to care for patients when they're in the pain and stuff. So, it's definitely it was a learning for both situations. Where would you say you are in the recovery process? I am 100% ready to go. I have engines to fill. <laughs> I am ready to get our team back to the playoffs this year. And yeah, I'm I'm 100%. So. It, it isn't just that you missed the time. You were an integral part of the last two, three teams. You were right in the middle of it the whole time. Yeah, it, I mean, like, yeah, it was hard to step back and then learn to be the leadership off the field and speak to the younger people coming in of like what I learned when I was their age and how to benefit our team and what what I could do off the field to help our team, but it was definitely a change. I was kidding you about being an old lady at age 22 now on your birthday, well, but <laughs> do you kind of feel maybe like, uh, do you feel older than maybe your freshman teammates? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm the oldest one on the team, and so it's just kind of like, well, here I am. I'm the leader now. I'm the oldest one. I got to, you know, set an example for everybody else and, you know, give it my last year. So. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. You're, uh, I guess this is, what, your third year playing? You would have one more year one of more, eligibility. Yes, Are much. you planning on coming back and playing, or is that too early to talk about? Talk. Well, my main focus is this season, getting my goals met this season, and then maybe afterwards we could talk about it after the season, yeah. Well, let's talk about this season because right. it sounds like you may have a little bit change in role from being a true defender. Right. So I was center back my freshman and sophomore year, and now he wants me in that middle position to maybe work with like more of the central mids and get get a little bit of offense going too while also being a defender so right. kind of a change in role a little bit 511 is what we have you listed so you're one of the bigger defenders now I guess you yeah. know, uh, midfielders as well and you have been counted upon to win a lot of those 50 50 balls in the air what's it like as you're going up to, to try to challenge for one of those well I mean it's it's nice having an advantage of being tall and stuff and but yeah I definitely have to you know prove myself in the air since I have the advantage I need to you know use it and so I mean I just go up <laughs> and try to you know get those short people off this <laughs> <laughs> is it well, that advantage <laughs> I think people don't understand soccer a lot of times when they're up in the stands and away from it because it's in those situations very physical as mm -hmm. well do you fight a little bit in there with the going up oh those? yeah I get a little feisty in the on the field me and Jay <laughs> do so but yeah, I think it's a lot of you're constantly thinking off the ball, on the ball, what's the best positioning, how to defend, plus play offense at the same time. But, yeah, I don't think they – a lot of fans don't see the whole spectrum, I think. But they always just go score a goal. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of fighting for the ball uh, and those sorts of things and being 5'11", at least some in North High School, you were a pretty good basketball player as well as a soccer player. Tough, yes. tough for you to decide which to play in college? Yes, I took me – couple of years in high school to figure out which one because I love both sports I was pretty good at both of them I would say and I almost played both here but with the nursing program and my dedication to the soccer team I wanted to give more effort to soccer and nursing so I had to you know let go of a, one sport so, sure yeah well let's talk about nursing because that's right. one of the more challenging uh, uh, degrees here at Jewel it takes an immense amount of time for people who don't know especially as you get to your junior mm -hmm. and senior years can you tell a little bit maybe a story or two about what that's like I mean, nursing school, um, you kind of have to really find a balance and find a what do you call, time management because, I mean, my first day back when we had a travel weekend last year, we had a test that next Monday and we're getting in at 3 a.m. that Sunday night. And so I stayed up all night to four hours just studying my, you know, butt off. And yeah. so it's just kind of a lot of time management, a lot of talking with your teachers and stuff, but we've had a lot of soccer players go through that program, and they've been very successful. And Cl Coach has been very good, too. Clinicals for you yet? Have you started that? Yes. I um, I did adult health, and I had my clinicals at St. Joseph's Hospital, and then I went. I was at Liberty Hospital, too. That's where I had my surgery. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, clinicals have been fun. I've met um, some pretty pretty cool patients, but yeah, it's been an experience, and I love it here. 
What kind of nursing do you think you'll end up doing? Um, I really was interested in surgery or maybe um, pursuing um, a degree in nurse anesthetist, get my master's in that, and we'll just see. Yeah. Mackenzie's from Lee Summit, Missouri, and uh, as we said, at Lee Summit North Bronco. Tell us a little bit about your family, if you would. Yes. Um, well, my dad, both my parents are in finance. I have no family in the medical field. I'm going to be the first one. Um, so my mom works for an um, engineering company, and last year my brother graduated um, from UMKC with his um, engineering degree, and so he works at the same place my mom does. Uh -oh. So that's pretty cool. But... Um, my mom's parents are like my biggest fans in soccer, so you can see them at every game. They'll be there tomorrow. Um, but yeah, my family's been very supportive, especially with the knee injury and you know getting me back. That but means a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, the I knee injury so much support. Yeah. Yeah, emotionally tough time to overcome that, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, kind of to step back, take yourself out, of, you know, and do what you have to focus on yourself from then on to right. get yourself back, so then you can focus on the team. But nervous about this weekend, testing it out in game situations? I am very nervous, yes. But I have to just let go and trust all of my rehab and all of my help from the trainers and just put it out there because it's the only way to do it, you know. And again, as we uh, hear tape on Thursday, you haven't played a match yet, uh, at least it counts, mm -hmm. but you will. And you, have you set any goals for yourself this year, any personal goals, any team goals? Well, I definitely want to score some goals in my head this year. I want to get back at that. Um, personal goals, I guess, just being the leader that my team needs and, you know, really, really um, encouraging my team that any game could be your last, so you really need to give it your all and, you know, be one for the team. Really. Right, yeah. right. You've talked a little bit about your schoolwork and, and what that means, but as a student at Jewel, what are some of the things that you would say, boy, if you come to Jewel, you're going to get this? Well, you're going to get an excellent education, first of all. Um, not only in the nursing program, but also like the critical thought and inquiry. I've, inquiry. <laughs> I've, also, I've enjoyed those classes. Um, you're going to get a well-rounded education. The teachers know you. You're going to get, you know, face-to-face -face contact with them and emails all the time. And they're, they're very supportive of things you do in the classroom and out of classroom. And, I mean, everybody's so friendly here. Yeah. It's just been, it's been a good experience. Well, take care of that, D. Yes. Score a bunch of goals for us this year. Yes. And have a tremendous year. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mackenzie Kellogg has been our guest on the High V Halftime Report.